will be like him. Holy, pure. But brethren, look at the man. Look at me, don't be distracted. Brethren, it not just happens so. It not so easy. And there are physical things, early things that if you look at it, you will understand that you too, it, it, it is an example of what you and I have to go through to become like Christ. Let me explain this to you. Watch it. And this is key. This is key. When you buy gold, gold and church at different um, levels of being precious and values. So you have 10 carats, am I right? You, you have what? 14 and, and go right up to about 21, I believe. And maybe more, I don't know. But on the basis of what I know, but for that to happen, the 10 carat has more impurities than that of the 14 and that of the 21. The less of impurities that are in the gold is the more valuable it becomes. Am I talking to you? So there is a process that it has to go through. And one of the processes is it has to be melted down until it becomes liquid. That means it has to go to a fire that has been turned up to over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Where the gold becomes liquid fire. Then that gold now is poured into what? Some container that is shaped the way that the person that is doing it wants it to be shaped. When it is poured there and it starts to cool, when the gold is cool, it comes out looking like the container. But while they are pouring out the liquid, the gold liquid, which is liquid fire, they are throwing in chemicals that remove the impurities. So not only the fire removes the impurities, but the chemicals also. Am I talking to you? The child of God is just like that. The fire, the tribulations, the circumstances that you are experiencing, these things are sometimes done by God himself, it's not the devil. Because he wants you to operate and to look like have his likeness. God wants you to look like him more than who you want to look like God. So there is a song. To be like Jesus. To be like Jesus. All I have is to be like him. All true life. The process of the fire, the process of tribulations will bring out the impurities and then as the Holy Spirit is poured in, then as you pour in the word, the impurities go and the likeness of Christ now takes form. I want to you understand it. So this is what God is doing for many of us. He's causing you to go through the process that you are formulating and becoming more like him. What somebody needs to do right now is just lift your hand while you are yet going through the process and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are quick work in me, Lord. You are quick work, dear God. A fast work, dear Jesus. Help me to learn the lessons quickly. You see the trust? You see the sin? You see the wrong practices? They give you an abnormal shape. You don't look like God. And those things have to be removed. Removed, but it is embedded in you. You want to do right, but you can't do it. You find yourself instead of you doing the right, you're doing the wrong. Embedded in you. You find that the sin that is embedded in you. 
have more power over some of us than the righteousness that should have power. And it is the persecution that drives it out. You know, knowledge you. Knowledge brings understanding. Therefore, you run to it now. And you start to glorify God in the situation that is doing a good work in me. And the fire is meant to kill me, but not in the way that you think. Kill you in the flesh. Kill you in the heart that is desperately wicked. Kill you. So as you start now, you start to die, decrease, and we start to increase within you. So because of this bedroom, recognize now that it's God working on you. The word of God tells us of one father in the of the Lord and Jesus. The word of God tells us of one father in Jeremiah. When God said to Jeremiah, can't I do to you as the potter does to the clay? The potter works on the clay man. And the clay starts to go with the potter the like how it looks. So the potter just mash up at the clay. Oh Jesus. Ah, some of you get mashed up. No! So it is the potter. It is the potter working on you. Some of you come down, draw down, pull down, mash up now. You know what you recognize you the more. But it's the potter working on you. Some of you now know how they must spin up the field of my and go out and laugh after you. But it's the potter. But I'm here to tell you, when the potter finish with you, then the laugh after you may come to you. Then we recognize you. Then we start love you. time it's God and God is working on you and God is making you into who he desires you to be what you need to do now is yield yield to the spirit of God yield to the word of God yield to the hand of God yield to the leading of the almighty God but be flexible oh can't you be flexible in the hand of the almighty God who is shaping you we are I can mold in you in what he requires you to be. Or you want to dictate to God what you want him to do. Mold me. Break me. Melt me. Then fill me. Spirit up. The living God. Somebody say Father. Oh, please, when you are no more, but he is no 
one that surfaces in you will out of your belly flow the 